Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's talk about the DC voltmeter, but a specific type, one that we can actually adjust for different voltage ranges, that's called the multi-range voltmeter. We still have the typical uh, concept of a voltmeter. It's a galvanometer if we have an analog voltmeter and some sort of resistance in series. We want that resistance to be large so that the, the galvanometer will not have much of an effect or the voltmeter will not have much of an effect on the overall circuit. But if you want to have a multi-range voltmeter, we can accomplish that by having different values for this particular resistor in series. Here's a, a schematic of what that might look like. So we have input on the voltmeter on one side, the output on the voltmeter on the other side. That's basically these two terminals right here. Here's the galvanometer with some small internal resistance. Let's say the internal resistance is equal to 1 ohm, very small, so we don't have to worry about it. And the full-scale deflection will occur when the current through the voltmeter happens to be 1 1,000 of an amp or 1 milliamp. That's typically larger than real voltmeters, but just to keep the number simple to work with. Here we have three resistors that we can dial in by turning a knob. The knob will either stop at the 1,000 ohm uh, resistor, the 10,000 ohm resistor, or the 100,000 ohm resistor. So we can dial in three different values. Let's find out what volt reading we can make with a 1,000 ohm resistor, a 10,000 ohm resistor, and a 100,000 ohm resistor in series with the galvanometer. This is, of course, what it would look like. We have some load resistor on the circuit. We attach the voltmeter across the load resistor to measure the, the voltage difference between the two ends of the load resistor. Let's assume that we have a one volt difference across the load resistor. Let's say that the voltage across the, lo the load resistor, R sub L, is equal to one volt. Let's now see what the current would be in the voltmeter if we attach this particular voltmeter that has a thousand ohms across it. So the current I is equal to V divided by R. In this case we know that we're measuring one volt and the resistor that we dialed in was a thousand ohms. One volt divided by a thousand ohms that's equal to 0 0.001 amp which is one milliamp which means that we can measure as much as a milliamp with the galvanometer, with the voltmeter, if we have the resistor dialed to 1,000 ohms. What if we dial it into 10,000 ohms? Well, the maximum current that we can have is 0.001 amps, otherwise we would destroy the galvanometer. That means that we can actually, with a larger resistor, handle a larger voltage measurement. In other words, I is equal to voltage divided by R, but in this case, if we want to measure 10 volts, we can do that by dialing in a resistor that's 10 times as big to achieve the same current. So if we dial into a 10,000 ohm resistor inside the, the voltmeter, then 10 volts divided by 10,000 ohms is equal to 0 0.001 amps. And again, that's 1 milliamps or full scale deflection. Which means that if we change the knob and we have the knob setting to over here, let me change the color here, so if we now connect it to the middle resistor instead of the top resistor, we can actually measure uh, higher voltages because we, even with higher voltages, we still would not exceed the one milliamp uh, restriction to the galvanometer. If you want to measure 100 volts, if for some reason there's 100 volts put across this load resistor, you want to be able to measure that voltage, then we require an even bigger resistor, the 100,000 ohm resistor. This is equal to V divided by R. 100 volts divided by 100,000 ohm resistor is also equal to 0 0.001 amp, which is equal to 1 milliamp. In other words, with the same galvanometer, we can handle maximum current of 1 milliamp. We can measure up to 1 volt if we dial it into a 1,000 ohm resistor in series. We can measure up to 10 volts if we dial in a 10,000 ohm resistor in series. And we can measure up to 100 volts if we dial in a 100,000 ohm resistor in series. So in each case, you can see that the very same galvanometer can be used in the same voltmeter as long as we can change the settings of the resistor that is in series with the galvanometer. And that's how we make analog voltmeters that we can change the setting on, therefore called multi-range voltmeters. Even on digital voltmeters, still you'll be dialing in a, a knob, which when the, then dial in different resistors on the circuit boards that are in those digital voltmeters, again, giving you the same capability of measuring different currents or measuring the same current, but therefore receiving a different volt reading.
by changing the resistors in series with the voltmeter. And that's how it's done.